Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three strings, cigar, box, guitar, yeah, yeah. This is like a pre-lesson lesson, and this is how I finger pick. I have a special little style that I use. Some people like it, some people don't, but this is a pre-lesson on how to pick the way I pick so that when these lessons come up where we're kind of finger picking, you can look back at this and get that, and I don't have to go through it every lesson when we have to do things like this. We've got a song coming up in our lesson repertoire that's got some finger picking in it, and so I want you to be able to do this. So we have a three string cigar box guitar, G, D, G, open G. We have a hand with four fingers and a thumb. We're gonna use the thumb, first finger index, and our second bird finger, and that's it. Three, two fingers and a thumb, and three strings. The thumb is only going to hit this bass string. That's it. The first finger is only going to hit that D string, the middle. And our third finger is only going to hit that outside G string. So, like so. So get used to this little roll. They call this a roll in banjo terms. So your G D G G D G G D G G D G. Get used to this. This is a very useful little technique. So you can go really slow. G D G G D G G D G. And after a while, it starts rolling. This is where you want to be. You want to be just moving continuously, being able to watch football doing this, being able to talk doing this. This is your first adventure in finger picking. So I want to uh, get this out to you. So there's also another way to do this, is hit both outside strings and then roll for it. Pulling both outside strings and then bass D G. So I want to go over that again. So you're pulling both outside strings just like you're pinching. So both G's, then G D G. Pull both G D G. Pull both. G, D, G. Pull both. G, D, G. And where you want to sound is a... So, what I'm doing there is pinch G, D, G, G. Pinch G, D, G. G, pinch, G, D, G, G, pinch. And it sounds really quick, and it really does some neat stuff. Because you can play like this. Because you have this octave always working for you. So that's really a nice tool in your toolbox. You're going to find that other people pick different ways, and those ways are especially cool, and don't worry if you're not doing this right exactly the way I'm showing you. As long as you have the beats within the measure to make the time work. This is what it's all about. It's about getting the proper amount of notes within a measure. A measure is a space of time that we define at any given moment. So you have four beats in a measure, or eight beats in a measure, or 16 beats in a measure. Jazz guys will put 15 beats in a measure, and it'll really sound funky. But I'm just dealing with four beats in a measure, and then I separate those four out. 
but this is what it looks like. Pinch, bass, D, G, bass. Pinch, bass, D, G, bass. Pinch. And you're only using these three fingers and they're only touching those strings. So, this is where you want to be. And I know you guys can do this. It just takes a lot of time. There are a lot of, of, of people out there that have very, very complicated uh, finger-picking patterns. Uh, Justin Johnson is one of them. He's the king of these marvelous finger-picking patterns. So if you need some different patterns, go look on his videos and, and deeply watch what he's doing. He has some great explainer videos. But this is just one that I use, and I use it for all of my songs. I, I'm one of these one-trick pony people. I, I tend to use the same type of rhythms all the time, and I don't really deviate from them. So it's pinch, bass, bass, pinch, bass, D, G, bass, pinch. And you'll feel the rhythm when you get it. Start out with bass, two, three, bass, two, three, bass, two, three. That will get you in the right position. And this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. This is a pre-lesson. We've got a song coming up in a week or so, and I want you to have this before I post this song. So this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, I do have a link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. I also uh, look for a buck a show. Thank you so much. You guys do so good. Uh, Facebook, I'm on Cigar BX Blue. I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff on Facebook because I'm starting to get into the copyright trouble. So I'm going to use Facebook and Instagram a lot more. So look for that. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. And we'll see you next time.